Hello, in this video, I am going to discuss what tokens are in the C programming language. If you've been following this series so far, you're probably thinking, oh, when are we just going to get coding? I just want to cover as much as possible in this series. So obviously part of it is, you know, when we're not actually doing any coding. Okay, so C tokens. Let me show you the definition on Google first, and then I'll provide you know, more my definition. C tokens are the smallest building block or smallest unit of a C program. The compiler breaks a program into the smallest possible units and proceeds to the various stages of compilation, which is called token. Okay, so I know what that means because I've been doing programming for over 10 years, but a newcomer might be thinking, what? what does that mean? Like, are they essentially, you know, doing this? Are they splitting it up into that, into that, into line by line? What is it? Okay, so on if you were to open up this W3 Schools website, you can actually see the six main types of tokens and you can open them up and see all the different types of tokens within each. But I'll explain them. You know, feel free to go on this. I will provide a link to this. But feel, I mean, but I will just show you myself. Okay, so what we've got right here, these are tokens. So like, like this, for example, is a variable token. This is, an, I, think it's, I think it's classified as a identifier. I'm pretty sure you saw an identifier token. So this is a, another built-in token. Printf is another token. Re return is another token. So these indicate to the compiler that these are pre-built essential building blocks and they have specific functionality. So an int is not going to act like a character, for example. An int is short for integer, which is a whole number. It's gonna act like an int. It, it, you know, that is fixed. You, there's no real way of getting around that. You could use another variable type. You could convert it into something else, but int on its own, is just an int, simple as that. So these to so these are tokens. These are what is built in. This is not a token because we have customized it. I could easily have said by by. And if I was to run that, uh, let me sorry, save that. If I was to run that, it, it you know it's still fine. But if I was to change that to capital F, run that. You know we get. An error is because printf does another thing that you uh, cls to just clear the screen by the way uh, printf is lowercase and not not only that c in general is case sensitive so just bear that in mind so these tokens they're pre-built they have a specific functionality and they are case sensitive that's really it. it's just the building blocks and like i said you could go to this website that I'll provide a link to. Feel free to open up all of these. Don't know why special symbol isn't there. You could Google that one. And there you go, it's giving you examples of it. And see, see keywords list, you know, constants as well. So like these are essentially the, you know, the built-in tokens. So that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop us a message. There'll be a link in the description to the Discord page, Discord group, I should say. There's a bunch of programming channels in there, over 3,600, almost 3,700 members, probably hit 3,700 tomorrow in the Sonar Systems Discord group. There's plenty of programming channels and there are plenty of people to help out. Any questions, feel free to hit us up. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.